Hi Lillian and Jacqueline. Um, I have looked through all the timetable uh, per class. So I think at the class level, I have ensured that there's no transition issues. Um, technically, it can run, except you've got to help me verify the teacher's uh, timetable individually. right? So I'm going to just quickly show you how to verify a teacher's timetable. So for example, if you go to Lina, you can either mouse over the periods to check or you can go to print, uh, preview, print preview and look at Lina's timetable one by one. So for example, you look at Monday, there's a transition to PSS, then after which there is also a transition to CBSS for the CBSS period and finally she has a transition period back to C1. You go to Tuesday, you do the same thing and realize she has a transition between PSS and then C1, so on and so forth. All right. So when you go to um, Thursday, Thursday you do the same thing, you realize transition C1 then for contact time. Friday you do the same thing, uh, check for transitions and then you realize some transition BPSS to BPSS and finally to back to C1. So you look at Lina's timetable is complete. So we go to close preview, right? And then you check on the next teacher. So you got to do this checking one by one to ensure there's no transition issues, right? So um, I guess let me show you one teacher who has the transition issues, which I can recall is Lawrence. Pretty obvious. Uh, if you go to print preview, you realize on a Monday, he has a recess duty in Chongbun, but he is not in Chongbun, right? He got to teach English in Chongbun and miraculously, he got to return to campus one. So you got to add transition periods for Lawrence. How you can do that is go to close the pre preview. You see Lawrence, you go to subjects. You find the subject called transition to um, Chongbun, transition CBSS, create lessons, create new lessons, um, go to more teachers, choose Lawrence, Find Lawrence, he should be around the gang of the second upper sec teachers. Once you find Lawrence, okay. Um, do you need to select class? No, because um, he is transition, uh, he is transiting alone to Chongbun. Single period, don't need home classroom because he will be sitting on a bus, so there's no room needed. So once you click OK, so you see it's for regular meetings. What we use is we use for PPT. Uh, protected time and transition. So you close close, you realize Lawrence now has a transition card in his uh, bottom. So you click it and you insert a transition period for Lawrence. So what happens after he teach Samania English? You got to come back, right? So you can either create the same thing, a transition period for him, or you go to Samania class and get him to write on a Samania transition. Definitely Samania needs to return C1. So you scroll to Samania class, you realize after English, Rachel 2 teaching math, and then somebody is transiting back with Samania. So you can add in, uh, besides Maimona, you add in Lawrence, so that Lawrence can transit back as well. So you click on OK, uh, you return back to teacher's view, and find Lawrence, right click, print, Preview and you realize now Lawrence Monday there's no transition issues for Lawrence, right? So he has a transit he transit to recess, teach his English and then he returns back to campus one with Samania, right? So this is how you check for individual timetable and you do so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, repeatedly for all the teachers before you release, alright? Um, again, classes. 95% and 99% sure is okay, so you got to check on teachers. Alright, so I need your help to do that before you launch for the teachers.